FPS tutorial on YouTube and in this tutorial we're going to make a gun a bit more realistic by applying better movement to it so yeah let's start I'll just be quickly explaining the scripts before we start we'll be applying the swap script to our gun no first the first we'll be applying our where it is gun movement script to our gun and basically what that does is when we rotate our player down the x or y axis it just sets our gun a bit offset so it's not completely aligned with our player rotation and, it's, and uh, it takes I don't know like a few milliseconds to uh, the gun to uh, get perfectly aligned with the player rotation again so it gets in the same exact rotation as our player is and it only does that when we rotate down the x or y axis so yeah that's that's it for the gun movement script and just let's start go to your G go to game object create ready object cube drag that cube game object onto the onto your G3 model and scale it a bit the stars the doing that scaling it thick is trigger and thick of the mesh render now go to your cube and drag it onto the main camera on the first control main camera I'll drag the G3 model onto the cube and this will happen BAM it's destroyed no it isn't just tick the set active off and then set it back on as you can see it's okay now yes it's okay now go to that cube and just add uh, just make sure your cube's rotation onto the x and y axis now the z, z doesn't really matter it's set to zero because our script will automatically set it to zero and if it's our rotation of the y axis like this it will set it back to the zero and we don't want that so just make sure it's zero before you apply it to your gun now go to add a component and basically I'll just drag it again movement and yeah I'll just set the equal point to the set then that the equal point is just uh, it's a variable for uh, for uh, I named this, you, you can name it whatever you want, I just named it equal point because it's a point it will here you can here you can uh, put any number you want uh, it's how much time will it last before our gun's rotation is equal to the player's rotation and that's it just play the scene so you See, it's a bit better. As you can see, it's moving. When we move, it moves. When we move faster, it offsets more. And that's it just uh, another thing here go to the G3 model and remove all the animations just uh, s uh, let uh, leave the animation on your cube 1 go to your cube and now add a component animation we we'll set it to all size 1 play automatically set off and non animation just go to window animation add a curve I name that cube I'll 
just replace that because I don't need that probably. I'll just change the rotation on the 0 0.05 seconds a bit and to 0 0.10 seconds I'll change it again to the same exact point as there. It's uh, not exactly the same but it's okay. Got to put the cube again in and here also cube and now go to game object where the uh, bullets are spawned and uh, remove the G3 from the gun and just add the cube because otherwise it it just doesn't work I don't know why but it works really bad if I Now go to, we'll be creating another game object, game object create empty, drag it onto your, where it is, onto your main camera, first person control, whatever, and we'll be applying the swap script here, Scrap, uh, what swap script does, it's, it sets our first gun here to active at the beginning of our scene and but it says it recursively falls so that means that our uh, when our gun one will be set active the Q button won't be able to effect on it and here is just the same exact thing just it's opposite the gun two is set uh, to recursively active false and gun 1 is set recursive active true that's only if our gun 2 is set to active and we'll be applying our second gun here our first gun here our first uh, ammo count text here and our second ammo count text here okay let's start go to your game object again uh, and go put your first gun mine is g3 model onto the gun one and i have a pretty brand new one model i made in blender and i'll be applying I'll, you can you'll be able to download it from the dropbox link i'll be putting it to the description and it's right here i said to active that you can see what it looks like i applied some Call of duty textures on it so it looks more cool i don't know it looks like you know sick alien gun and uh, it looks pretty cool mm. yeah i'll be setting an active now so i'll be starting with jitmo now go to your game object apply the first gun apply the second gun which is our cube 2 and here is my GUI text for the first gun it's ammo count text as we made in the first tutorial uh, apply to text one and here's our my second gun uh, text for the Beretta and to apply to text two I could just set that to active also no it doesn't have to be yeah, it's just cool and now when I play my um, uh, game, when I press the Q button, it swaps. As you can see, it swaps. And I have it looks pretty cool. And as, as you can see, the texts are changing to us. When you really looks like this. Take some time. Yeah, it looks like this. Okay, uh, just a few things there. Yeah, I'll be also including a new model 
a new shotgun model I made in Blender and that shotgun model should be right here set to the activity to see what it looks like and it looks like this uh, looks pretty cool uh, it doesn't work now because I don't have any ammo script on it and yeah that was it for today guys thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed